What's up, Kansas City? It is Tiffany Berry. I am here with Councilman Jermaine Reed for the KCI Airport meeting. How are you, Councilman Reed? I'm doing very well. How about you? Oh, I'm doing good. Thank you. You doing look good. very. You look like you're doing very well, uh, especially that smile, Councilman come on Reed. Now. Come on now. <laughs> so, really quick, um, as far as the meeting goes for the airport, um, how do you feel the overall meeting did for the citizens who attended today? Well, I can tell you that I have been attending all of the listener sessions that have happened so far. So this is the third of nearly about five more that we have to go, and I plan to attend those as well. But what's most important to me is that we're listening to the citizens mm -hmm. of our city. And when we had the vote back on uh, November 5th, we, of course, said that the airport conversation did not stop. It really pressed the start button. And this uh, today and the uh, previous and the ones that are to come, uh, listening sessions are a reflection of what that conversation should continue to be uh, because we as Kansas Cityans uh, certainly have an opportunity to provide our voice and then also uh, we're able to uh, state what we think is what's best for uh, mm -hmm. the airport which is going to be built which I think is a very unique opportunity as we move forward so uh, that we make this generational decision on behalf of the city that citizens uh, will be able to say when you look back and it's time to build a new airport some 20, 30, maybe 40 years from now, mm -hmm. you ever say, hey, I remember adding that piece right. uh, in the airport. And you young folks should be remembering <laughs> to add that, right. you know, another piece or the piece that you said back here in 2017. So, Absolutely. so it's, it's, it's been good. And I'm, I've been excited to see the input and the engagement from uh, so many from our community, from all walks of life, uh, uh, young and old. Uh, and it's been very, very good. Most definitely. Um, so I just want to know uh, your personal take as far as being a part of this development, as far as you being the councilman right now. Uh, you know, how does that feel for you? What kind of accomplishment is that for you? Well, I mean, it feels good for me. I can tell you that as a public servant, I sign up to do uh, what is right on behalf of the citizens mm -hmm. of our city. So I can tell you that I turn the question back to all of us as a community is that this is a proud moment for us as a community. Yes. And it's not just one individual who is responsible for uh, this conversation and moving it forward. This has been an ongoing conversation since the 90s. And we as a council and the mayor have really championed this conversation and has helped move it forward. There's been a lot of ups, there have been a lot of downs, there have been a lot of in-betweens and uh, in, in the rounds, right? right. Uh, but at the end of the day, uh, we as a community, we say let's look at the issue, let's move forward, and uh, continue to make sure that we as a community have that swag and that we know what's best for Kansas City. Right. And I think that... Um, uh, this is what makes me feel good. Now, I, on a personal note, of course, serve as the chair of our pub, uh, Transportation and Infrastructure Committee, mm -hmm. and I have direct oversight of this billion-dollar project. Uh, and so as the chair of the Transportation and Infrastructure Committee, what continues to be important to me is that making sure that we have minority workers on this job mm -hmm. uh, and that uh, local Kansas Cityans actually are going to be able to benefit uh, from the workforce, um, from the design professional, from the construction uh, piece of this uh, from uh, the, the workforce and, mm -hmm. and, and manpower that actually will be uh, providing the work for this uh, for this airport over the next four years. And so for me, uh, I'm going to continue to be laser focused mm -hmm. to make sure that not only Edgeboard as a developer uh, are meeting the goals, exceeding the goals, but that people in our community are actually the ones that are getting uh, the type of work that they deserve on this. And uh, that is the responsibility that I have that I take very serious and that over the next uh, 19, 18 months or so that I have on the council, if not ever elected to anything else, which I hope I am, of course, yes, uh, <laughs> uh, that I'm going to work hard on behalf of every citizen in this city if they voted for it or if they didn't. Absolutely. Well, Councilman Reed, I thank you. It's always a pleasure speaking. Okay. So um, I just want to thank you for taking your time out. Uh, thank you for being a part of this meeting because we do need this. We want to express our opinions. Yep. So thank you for that. Um, at Kansas City, make sure that you support Councilman Reed, especially yes, what's up, Kansas City, especially on his future endeavors. Yeah, so, we talk about that another yeah, we're going to talk about that another day. Yeah. So Kansas City, I look forward to having that conversation. <laughs> Let me assure you, what's up, Kansas City? What's up, Kansas City? You heard him. You heard him. <laughs> so check us out at what's up, Kansas City .net. And um, always remember, if you don't grind, you don't shine. You don't work, Come you don't now. eat. So make it make sense. You gotta go work. This program is brought to you by the Service Law Office, specializing in family and guardianship law.